snowballs? It's clear that the University of South Florida is Bulls territory, but on September 29th, <laughs> the Seminoles are looking to take over. I don't fear this fear. Go, Go Bulls. Bulls! In a battle of North versus South, USF will take on FSU at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Oh. Let's go Knowles. Both USF and FSU host blood drives throughout the school year. In fact, the University of South Florida is the largest blood supplier in the Bay Area. I'm very, very proud of our university. We are surrounded by people that actually need this kind of donation with uh, the busiest VA in America right across the street and Moffitt Cancer Center, etc. We are we are here to serve the community and make a difference in the community. Now the school is using the upcoming game as a way to save even more lives. I think it's really interesting and it'll get like people involved like to donate more blood because there are instances where people do need blood, so it's a good thing. I bleed green and gold. Uh, I think it's great. It's a great motivation to get some people out here and donate some blood. What do you think of Florida State? I do not like them. I don't like uh, FSU. I like USF so much more. We are very excited about the upcoming game at Raymond James Stadium with um, against uh, Florida State University. So we have a t-shirt that says, we don't fear the spear, this is Bulls country. Go Bulls. F-L-O-R-I-D-A-S-T-A-T-E. Florida State, Florida State, Florida State. Woo! S-O-U-T-H-F-L-O-R-I-D-A, South. Florida, South Florida, go Bulls! Regardless of whether you bleed green and gold or garnet and gold, the real winners are the patients in our local hospitals that will receive the blood collected at both of these universities. I'm Nancy Gay reporting.